The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Throwing again, Jackson. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. An explosive 38-yard pickup. First down, Eagles. down. It's McDonald. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Jackson from the shotgun. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, Nice first down. Drive keeps moving. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Seven brings up second and three. Throwing on second and three. Jackson. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up. On what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. 3 0 after one on EA Sports. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Jackson that is caught at the seven yard line and the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points the gain of five that time gives them the conversion and makes it first and goal of their timeouts so as they take it over we step aside second and goal from the six this time Jackson flush to his right 
to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, but frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, live to fight another down, right? Third and goal, Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. But the pass rush has been a real strength of late. They know how to get out to the quarterback. Absolutely. Four sacks last week. That's their first one here. Anything in particular you've seen from them or on film? I think that they're winning athletically up front, winning those one-on-one -on -one battles. But also, when the offensive line wants to keep everyone in and mass protect, they know how to scheme their way back to the quarterback as well. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. 25-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. A gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Now Jones, catch made by Slayton. Seven yards there at a first down. A little tough on the secondary there, in zone defensively. Quarterback had time to survey and find a spot. And if you want to change things up and put a little more pressure on him, you can go to man coverage. Everyone matches up and send more pressure. But you can also do it out of zone coverage if you're worried about what's going to happen on your back end. Send someone else, drop someone else out of the line. The old zone blitz could come into play to try and get that pressure on the quarterback. It's second and eight. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Operating from the gun. Jones on the crossing route, complete. It's Pierce, and he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 42. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there, perfectly executed crossing route. They'll run on first down. Landry, not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. He's tackled at the Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. On second down, Landry. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here's Jones. From the gun on third down. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. Intercepted. Well, if you go by the numbers, you'll find as the temperature goes down, so does the passing efficiency. And now that we're in December, even the routine throws are going to be harder for the quarterbacks. And this one, it winds up getting picked off. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And their two drives thus far both led to points, albeit both field goals, so the lead just six to nothing. But the ability to move the ball is evident. Well, that's, you know, heartening, as they say. But it's not what they're about. What they're about is putting the ball in the end zone and putting sixes on the board. So if you're the offensive coordinator, 
You like what you're doing, but you don't love it. You've got to find a way to ring that bell. Then you can have a little self-satisfied grin. Right now, a little more determination is needed. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. And he will find his man on the outside. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. A gain of six there on first. To throw again on second down. Jackson. And he finds a man on the crossing route. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 26. So one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first down, it's McDonald, and he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him, second down. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Looking to throw on second down. Jackson, this ball complete to Rager. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. A gain of six yards, and it's third down. Operating from the gun, Jackson, flushed out right. He can run for it, and he will. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got it. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. On second down now, it's McDonald. And he stopped immediately there. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. On third down, Jackson. His pass caught at the four. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. A kicker fest so far, all points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. From the gun, Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Operating from the gun, Jackson to the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. 
Jackson will throw again. Flush to his right. He may try and run for this. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. A field goal would make it a two-score game, but they're going to go aggressive. They're going to try this thing on fourth and goal. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. Fielded just outside the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. At their own 23-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Lorenzo Carter in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson, wide open receiver complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. No question that they're going to continue to look his way. Six catches in the first half and now seven on the game. Eagle first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun. Jackson looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup, brings up second and Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Operating from the gun, Jackson throwing middle, and it's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 34-yard line. It's a gain of a good pick up there of 20 yards. So the drive takes him into Giants' territory now. First and 10 at the 34. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Again, and defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. On second and a yard, Jackson to the goal line, but it's incomplete. They're looking for a spark defensively. When he went for that ball, probably thought he had a chance at the pick. And remember, they had two last week in the win, obviously losing here. Well, you talked about looking for a spark, and the best sparks are when you make big plays for your team, and he had an opportunity there. Couldn't haul it in, but that doesn't mean they're going to back off at all. They figure if they can get one of those takeaways, they can spark their team to a win. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. From the gun, Jackson. And this is going to be intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And the return won't go anywhere. They'll be back deep in their own territory at the two-yard line. Intercepted. The Giants take over first and 10. 
at their own two-yard line. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. Well, that gives them a little room, but not much. A gain of two to the five. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. So a little more space to work with here from the 13 on first and 10. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. 43-yard line. A first down carry for Barkley. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Credit the tackle to Darius Slay. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? There's a throw, complete right side to start things out. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Three receivers head out right, one to the left on second and three. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Now a throw for the left sideline, and he's got it. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. And an eagle first down. Jackson. He'll hit Watkins on the crossing route. A gain of six there on first. Complete to Quez Watkins. A six-yard pickup brings up second. Hit. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. And now he's going to use his legs. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. They'll run on first down. McDonald, and he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brings up second and five. They go play action now. Jackson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. To number An 11 yard touchdown. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. Giants, nothing. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. First and 10 at their own 24-yard line. I got 
The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And you're still in this game. I mean, yeah, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled, but you're only two scores down. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Throwing on second and long. Jones. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to need a nice, long, soaking hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. Now Jones throwing on third and long. And that is incomplete. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this one. I think the part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. He's going to look deep now for Landry. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. The Giants go on fourth, but come up empty. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. Now Jackson on first down, and this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything, and against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Jackson now on second and 10, and he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in the second half. Instead, it's third down. Third down and 10 yards to go. Here's Jackson. That's going to be caught at the 10 yard line. And they will get to him at the seven and stop him short of the first down marker. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Fourth down. The kick by Elliott is good, and the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down, but don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I, though? After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. At their own 23-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. And once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10 to throw again. Jones. And this is going to be incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Jones on third down. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Giants go on fourth, but come up empty. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. On first and ten, it's Jackson. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Philadelphia. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Eagles had six to their lead. 
They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? The Giants take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Remember, they have won three straight, but getting to four straight does not appear to be in the cards as they are in a big fourth quarter hole. A nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Jones now, throwing on first down. Throw left side, taken in by Slayton. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. Oh, Jones has just thrown his third interception. Picked up by the former Giant, James Bradbury. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because oh, here we are in December. Of giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. After the interception, here's Jackson. Flushed out right. He'll try and run it. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 10-yard line. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. The Eagles on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This time it's third and three. He's going to look deep for Watkins. But when this ball's tipped and intercepted, Shaquille Griffin with a pick. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw, eluding the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. On first down, Barkley. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Barkley, the ball carrier. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. The Giants on third down. A pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. This will be third and six. Now Saquon Barkley. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. The offense staying out. 
They're going to go on fourth and two. And they'll run for it with Barcliffe. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. First and 10 at the 10-yard line. This is Barkley. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. With Saquon Barkley with touchdown number 27. That ties Priest Holmes for the third most in a single year. And the Giants are able to draw a bit closer. The giant offense going to stay on the field as they'll go for two. Now a toss coming right side. Mackey. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. So the defense gets the stop. I know it's situation to situation, but who has more pressure there, offense or defense, when they go for two? I, st I truly believe it's the defense has more pressure because the offense has an entire playbook wide open from the two-yard line. You can run it. You can throw it. So defensively, I think most teams are going to be aggressive and force the issue and try and bring pressure. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. And he's got the hook up here. Complete. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. And despite the late lead, Jackson to throw. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off around the 41. They're not making it easy on themselves here down the stretch. Two picks now in the fourth quarter trying to hang on to that lead. Talk about keeping someone in the game. Instead of being able to shut the door, it's still cracked open because they can come back on you now. The only people are really happy about those picks, any fantasy team that has this defense. That's complete to Slayton. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now it's Barkley. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. At the four-yard line. They'll try the left side. Landry, and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. The kicker on. A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And thanks to the interception, the Giants offense cashes in with six. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes it 24-13. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Five-yard line.
The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. Now one final throw here is incomplete, and that is how this one will come to an end. So fly, Eagles, fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense and what I mean by that is in the old days pitching shutouts was big time that was paramount but the big thing was holding people down holding down their yardage right don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot of but now it's about taking the ball away taking away possessions getting the ball back for their offense they had three takeaways in this one and it led them to victory so for the Eagles, the wins keep coming as this one moves them to 12 and three on the year. And they'll return home next week to take on the Detroit. Thank you. 